Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Dear friends, uh, this is a very specific example around uh, complex pointers, right? It is not so much complex, but when you look into this particular example, you will see that I have declared an array of four integers and then I have written one declaration, right? So I have defined one variable called P. It's a pointer. Right, and uh, I will definitely explain this in much more detail, uh, but I would want you to think about it, what this representation really means. So this is a slightly more complex, you know, for people who have not used this kind of uh, pointer logic actually. And it's a combination of pointer and an array as you can see here actually, right, okay. So this is most important for us to really understand what it is. And then, I am trying to do an assignment operation. This pointer is taking the address of uh, the array. And then we want to make sure that what should be the output of this. So the most important line in this entire program is this line, right? If you are able to solve this, then only we will be able to get the correct answer, right? So I think you should really uh, really analyze this code okay because uh, i've seen a lot of people they don't use this kind of programming they either use an integer array or some sort of a pointer but this is a uh, combination of these okay so my request is to really really analyze the code the more you analyze it i think the better it is for you so please analyze a lot actually okay and then you can definitely run the code also based on your analysis and understanding and try to see whether the outcome is same as what you have analyzed it, okay? So let's uh, go into the lab. We will run the code. And then I will also explain this with a diagram. A diagram is really required here. So I will draw a diagram in my whiteboard, okay? So first we will run this code, get the correct answer, and then I will explain with a diagram in the whiteboard, okay? So let me just uh, go into the lab first. So here is the program, right? So this particular program, you can see that we are trying to do a final print like this. Okay. So I will just uh, modify it, uh, put a new line character because it allows us to have a better readability. Okay. So I'm adding backslash n here. So we compiled it. So first thing to note here is that compiler will generally give a warning. Why it is giving a warning? Because you can see that, you know, the I think the compiler are really good nowadays, okay? It kind of tells you what is the kind of mistake you are doing. Here, if you see, there is a pointer. And that pointer, I am type casting it into an integer, right? My goal of this assignment is different. My goal of this assignment is to get the difference between P and P minus one, right? Okay. So a scaling factor also comes into picture, right? In this kind of assignment. So it's a very classical assignment for a much deeper understanding of C language, okay? But compilers are so good right now, it is saying that, yes, we have a pointer to an integer casting we are doing here, right? So it is giving a warning. Remember, I told you in C language, programmers are supreme, okay? Programmers can do whatever they would want. Compiler will compile it, okay? It will compile it, okay? As long as the language allows, it will compile it. Sometimes compiler thinks that you might have done something wrong. So he gives you a warning. So this is a warning, right? This is a beauty, right? Compiler says, I'm allowing compilation. That is the great part. Compiler throws a warning saying that there can be issues around it because either you have done it unintentionally or you have done it intentionally. My goal here was I have done it intentionally. I know what we are doing. So programmer know what we are doing actually, correct? So I think that's a good part. So we should ignore this warning, right? We should ignore this because this uh, will not be uh, needed actually, right? 
it's already compiled the code is compiled because it gave a warning i i have my a dot out right i have my compiled output this is the compiled one right so let me run this a dot out when we run the code so you have to hold your breath some of you some of you might think that the difference of this might be four uh, because it is a pointer, you are doing pointer and pointer minus one kind of a thing, okay? But the answer um, will not be four. Answer is going to be something different. So in this case, it is sixteen, right? So we need to understand what's going on and what is the meaning of this line. The most important thing is what is the meaning of this line, right? So let me go into the lab now. Oh, sorry, let me go into the board, right? So I will try to draw, draw a diagram. I will really explain the meaning of this. Once we understand the meaning of this, then what you will see is that, you know, we are simply doing the difference between a pointer and the corresponding scaling factor, right? So P and P minus 1. So we are just looking into that memory area, pointer where it is pointing to, right? So uh, let's go into the whiteboard, right? So just a second. So, since we, you can see it here, you know, I am here right now, okay. So, these were the original variables and this is a pointer, right. So, I am trying to draw a whiteboard kind of a, right, basically I am trying to draw a diagram for this. So, just bear with me for some time, okay. So, I am going to pick up some colors, okay. So, what you will see is it is an array of four, right, basically. So, that is the one number one thing. So we have an array of integers, right? It's an array of integers and there are four elements in this. So that is what we have done. So the zeroth element, first, second, third, and we can say that basically it's an array of four elements, okay? Now in, in some normal situations, I know many programmer, what they do is they will write an integer pointer pointing to the array, right? So their goal is different. So they might declare a pointer what that pointer can be, they will write, for example, some sort of a integer pointer, right? Integer pointer, let's we call it as a P pointer to an integer, PI, okay? If you declare like this and then you say that I want it to point to this person, right? So it's okay. So you can say this PI is pointing to the first element and then when you do a PI plus plus PI, plus plus right then what happens is this guy will go and then it will point to the second element you do plus plus it points to thus and then you do plus plus it points to the next element right so essentially what you see in a general programming context pi is a pointer pointer to an integer that is what is the general programming method that lot of people do however if you watch carefully this one, right? This is not a pointer to a plain integer. No, no, no. This is a pointer to an integer array of four elements. Okay. So let's change the color. Okay. Yeah. So what you see now here is this one, right? This is not just, P is not just a pointer to an integer, no. P is definitely a pointer. Pointer to an array of four elements where each element is an integer, okay? So that's the summary. So what I, am, what I have really done in this entire exercise is I have declared a pointer for this and this pointer is being denoted by a P. So it's a pointer to an array of four elements where each element is a integer. So if I do P plus plus or say P minus minus whatever, right? So we are doing pointer arithmetic, incrementing or decrementing. As you know that whenever we have a pointer and if you do P equals to P plus one, we are not incrementing it by one byte, no. We are incrementing it by the scaling factor, which is what really is, right? The scaling factor kind of denotes 
where the pointer is really pointing to actually right so it's pointing to an array of four elements where each element is an integer right so this pointer is really pointing to four elements of an array where each element is an integer as you know so size of integer right okay so it's basically if you really start focusing more size of integer right if you start focusing more so it is four elements and then each one is an integer so I, I, you anyway know now actually 16 right so this pointer is essentially pointing to a memory location of 16 bytes right so when you say p equal to p plus 1 this pointer will naturally jump into another area in anticipation that you have another 16 byte memory location or if you say p equals to if you say p equals to p minus 1 right so it is technically same it is going backwards we don't have a space here but let's draw a small one here right okay so it's going backwards and pointing to this actually okay but backwards by 16 bytes right and that is important so uh, I hope you understood this actually okay and that is what you are seeing the output also right so you saw the output as 16 so because that's what it is suppose we do one more minor you know, one one more small change in this code right so let's let's make it uh, some random number right so I will just put it like say for example 10 right so 10 so what we are now saying is that we have an array of 10 elements uh, each element is an integer so array of integers 10 elements so totally it is 10 into 4 which is 40 right 10 elements each is an integer the size of this array is really a 40 40 bytes right and similarly we are saying that p is definitely a pointer no doubt about it but what kind of you know pointer it's pointing to an array of 10 elements where each element is an integer right so we are again matching these two together so this is 40 basically right so if you do the pointer arithmetic p and p plus 1 or p minus 1 and then the difference of that will give me the real size of where it is pointing to correct so it should be 40 now right so based on our calculation it should be 40 so let's try to compile this now so as i told you compilation compiler will always give you this you know warning ignore it and let me clear it first okay i'll compile it once again for example okay yeah so now we'll run it so the answer should be 40 4040 right so let's run it so you got it 40 right so uh, i think this is a very interesting problem you know this is a well thought about exercise for all of you to understand uh, some concepts around uh, complex operations using pointers right so here we have declared and defined you know one very nice piece where we have a pointer to an array okay all right uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this video i hope you liked it i will see you in another video thank you